Be nice Cut. and calm, <laughs> well, but the wrong the end. No, yeah. it's not. There's loads no? of fish up there. Oh. Alex says there's a lot of fish there, so... They're smaller, we'll... but there's loads yeah. of fish We're there. going to have a look, and I'll let you know what I'm going to do. Let's get down to the peg. Hello, here I am at Rookery Waters on Crow Lake on a Thursday open. I think there's 14 or 16 anglers fishing. And as usual, on Crow, it is gale force winds, as you can see. But I've drawn the most sheltered end an end peg peg two, I'd rather be the other end because the fish follow the wind, but you can see how windy it is. Um, what am I going to do today? It's on the change now where it's getting a bit warmer and less frosts. I would normally set up two rods to fish a maggot feeder, but I'm going to set up a maggot feeder and a little method. I may set a pole up I may set a pole up because I'll be able to hold it close where I'll be able to fish a top kit and two. I could probably fish a little bit further, but being an end, it might be worth doing. And I might fish pellet on that, just have a pellet line short. May do a margin. I don't know, but definitely two feeder on approach, and I think that'll be my main catching area where I can tuck, chuck tight to the far bank and you've only got that depth, but the fish are there. Um, but I'm going to start on a maggot feeder, and I'll have a little method set up, just in case, because they're catching a few here on bandy pellet now on the pole, when they can, when it's not windy. So if they catch them on the pole on bandy pellet, you'll catch them on a little method. So let's get set up, and then I'll go through what I have set up with you. Okay, I'm all set up. Um, it has got a bit windier, but I'm still sheltered here to most of the angles. It just gets windier that way. I've set up a little method feeder on a little eye bridge to chuck tight. Well, I'm going to do a bandy pellet 016, maybe a 6mm, um, or I might even try the Sonia Bates banded wafter, chocolate and orange. They're absolutely awesome and they really do work well. I've used them on here before when I've been coating, they're awesome. So, may try that. Little trick up my sleeve. Um, and I'm gonna, I'll probably start on a little maggot feeder first, because that's what's been catching on here. And if I catch on that, then I'll stick with it. I've set a short line up, banded pellet, but I'm gonna throw um, hard four mils out my hand. I've set a four by 14, one of my MP4s up for there. I've just no 14 to a 16, banded, banded 6mm, banded 4mm, there. But I've set a margin line up to me right, obviously away from the camera where we're filming there, going into the corner. But I've come out just in a slight little bit of deeper water. I've set on the MP6s, I've got 014 to a 16, where I'll fish double maggot, 6mm pellet, and I'm going to feed micros and maggot there. So pellets out of my hand, hard pellets. Maggots and micros me margin, start the maggot feeder over, and then I'll change and have a look on a little method feeder, just see if it works. But if I'm catching steady on a maggot feeder, I should just stick with it, because that's what works on here. And being on an end, there's normally a lot of F1s here, but it's, you need the carp, so we'll just see how it goes. But the day is going to be horrendous. Wind, hope we don't get any rain, and let's hope I put a few fish in the net, so you can watch me through this match. We're about to start, he's going to blow the whistle any minute now. I'm going to cup in a full cup of micros, four mils and maggots on my margin line. Now there's the start now. Throw some 
hard four mils out the end short, keep that regular feed in, and then start on the maggot feeder over, over. So, and then play it by ear, and I'll let you know what I'm doing through the match. Just cup a few four mils down there, so I've got a bed to throw over. Yeah, it can throw quite all right there. First half hour or so, I'll only leave it in a minute and a half, maximum to get some maggots in there. So I could just chuck it out and sit here for 10, 15 minutes. When the fish arrive, they clean up the bait very quickly, so I need to get some bait in. Another little tap then. Might have been just a little line or just a little. So there's definitely some fish there, it's just getting feeding. Yeah, so today's a six hour match, not a five hour match, so there's no rush, but very important, I keep recasting every minute and a half to get some bait out there, so when the fish start to feed, there's enough bait there. I'm getting little indications, so I know there's fish there, it's just to get them to feed. To keep that pole line, keep a few hard pellets going on that line. And then try and think every 40 minutes, put a bit of bait in that margin. Or I'm fishing just out from the margin, about a metre out. Just keeping the lines topped up, but not overdoing it. Well, nearly half an hour has gone, and I'm getting indications, but I'm thinking, should I change that little method feeder and banded pellet? So um, one more chuck on this. And I thought I'd give a little method feeder a go. There's definitely fish there. Now our first bite now. I've probably had now, that's my maybe 12th cast, 13th cast, so I've got enough maggots there. And now I've got a fish, but I know there's enough maggots out there working. Might be a carp, I thought it was an F1 at first. Oh, well, look. Little Fantail F1.
I was thinking in my mind there the change to the method feed, but then it's just suddenly gone round. But a lot of indications, but they're not really feeding properly yet. Another F1, looks like a pregnant one. Just change that method, I think. Just give that a couple of chucks, just to see. A ah, little fish. I've got on the method now just to see. I'm getting indications, but just give this a go and have a look. I'll only have a couple of chucks on it because that will tell me whether it's it's working or not. So all I've put out there is a, a method with dampened micros and a banded six mil. Lovely bite that was. Oh, I don't say that's gone in the snag and all. Got a snag out there. The second fish that's gone in it. Well, we're an hour in. I changed about a half hour ago to a little method feed just to see because I was getting indications. And I had one on that, one F1. Went back on the maggot feeder, had a carp straight away that snagged me. Then I had an F1, now I've had another carp that snagged me. There's a snag out there. Um, I just tried chucking just the left of it, just to see. But there's some fish there, it's just trying to get them to feed. There's not loads being caught, so I'm happy what I'm doing at the moment, but just need them to turn onto the feed. I may have an early look on the pole just to see, because I've got enough feed out there now. But the wind's a pain. I've got a land in the handle, part of it blown in. <laughs> the wind's terrible, terrible. But there's some fish there, let's hope they just start to feed. I refed my margin line about 10 minutes ago. So I've got a couple of options, but I've, I've just feel there's some fish out there just start to feed. I've got one little carp and I think four small left ones. Thinking about maybe having an early look on the pole because I'm getting little indications here but it's just not, it's not happening. 
I've fed the pole line for over an hour now, so I might just have a little look just to see. Bloody wind. Well, we're two hours in now, and the last half hour I've had a go on the margin. A couple of indications might be these small little baby fish that are bred in here. So I refed that. Short on the pellet line, on the hard pellet. One bite, one F1. I've gone back on the feeder. I think my best option is maybe just stick to this method for, uh, maggot feeder and pick up the odd fish, because it's turned very cold now. I've had a little bit of rain. And keep feeding the hard four mils out my hand. May catch some fish on that late, but I just want some fish to arrive or start feeding. But the trouble has been on the end here, it's what's here. You'll only catch what's here, and I don't think any fish are going to move in in this wind. I've lost two carp in a snag and had one carp out there that I got in. I've probably got eight or nine fish, but. Um, a lot of indications, but I think there are these small baby fish that are bred in there. So just plug away and keep changing and just try and make something happen. Oh, 
Oh, come out, son. Oh, oh come out. Turn the heat on. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh, no. Oh, look at that bloody snag. La 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 Sorry? Yep, so I'm going now I'm going to start another line I've just What? A... Yeah So it's just a waste of time that is Gee whiz! That's incredible! Yeah. <laughs> Carp and all! It's unreal! Yeah, unreal. Unreal. Vinny caught. Vinny caught. That's another carp, that is. Yeah, well, we'll just follow the wind. I might catch one of bung now. Come on. Wee. <laughs> a little one though. Well, I've got me four fish now and there's nine as many chucks, but I lost another carp in a snag out there. I've only got one small carp in, so I lost a lot. So I changed lines. I've gone about 
seven metres to the left and I've had like four in four chucks. So I've done nothing different, I just just another line. I hope it continues. Boys, it got cold though. Oh. Oh. That cast nothing out, and I just twitched it back a bit, and it, it took it straight away. But it might have just been a lucky fish. But I feel there's some fish there, but it's just getting them to feed. But definitely worth me when I change my line, come away from that snag. Oh, that was a carp and all. Don't do that at home. <laughs> Fucking coming at me. If you see that, if you see that, I was bringing it one way, then I change hands and bring it the other side, me left to right. It's like when you're playing a fish on a pole. It just gets them in a bit quicker. If you just keep it one way, one direction, they can go off and they start fighting and pulling, pulling that way against you. Whereas if you just change it, change the direction to right to the left, you confuse them, they just come in quicker. Works on the pole, works on the feeder. Well, we're halfway through the match now. The last 20 minutes I've changed because there's a snag out there and I've lost everything. So I've recast and I've gone about five metres to the left of where I was fishing. And it's a, a different peg, unbelievable. It's like a fish of put now, so hopefully this carries on. It might do all right, but they've caught a lot of fish that end where they've, the fish have followed the wind. But uh, it's gone from just an odd fish in indications to a fish of put, so hopefully carry on catching and put a few in the net. It's turned really cold and the wind's just all over the place now, so conditions are just awful. the carp this time.
Well, that was one hell of a storm. That was absolutely horrendous. I had a carp when it was at its windiest. That, that was unreal. That was unreal, that weather then. I hope we have no more like that. But I'm really loving it. Really, really loving it. Because I'm on that bloody. Well, the ones. Nice fish, that one. Well, it's dad now, then it's uncle, then it's brother, and then the rest of the family. That's on two of the biggest maggots I could find in my box. Massive red maggots there are, some of them in there. Well, a good burst on the tip, and it's gone a little bit quiet now. And I've been feeding that short pole line. I noticed Simon Nixon's had a couple short just lately on his pole, so I might have a quick look on that in a minute. I'll have one more chuck on this, and then if it don't happen, I'll have a little look on the pole line. So I've been feeding it all the time, but I only had one fish on it when I had a look earlier. All right, one quick look on that pole. Get it out of my mind, keep thinking about it. And back on the maggot feeder. I'm a firm believer that if you're thinking about something, do it. Don't just keep thinking about it, because then you wish you'd tried it. So, if I get this out of my mind, let's have a go on this, get it out of my mind and I can concentrate more on the maggot feed, but this may go under. Been feeding it regularly. Let's hope it does. If there was fish there, I've been feeding it and giving them all the confidence they want, not a touch. Not a touch.
No, get back on the maggot feeder. Well, I've got it out of my mind, so I won't be thinking about it, thinking will I catch on that if I have a look. Still feed it though, because last half hour you could catch on it, but I think this will be the main line of attack, this maggot feeder. With the best chance to carry on catching. Now's the time you should really be catching now. It's just not the head of fish there, and it's just, just not right. It's just the weather's all up and down. I think the fish will follow the wind. I think that's another carp. Just need them more regularly. Definite carp. Come on, fish. Don't let me down. Look, as soon as it went in, incredible. Still worth when you're getting fish, you can have two or three ever so quick and then nothing. But don't sit there and wait, only still leave it a couple of minutes max and then recast. Just keep that bait going in. Just keep going through the, the motion and then you just get bursts of fish. But there's just not the head of fish there to keep them coming. I just wish it would just keep up. But I was further down the, the lake right in the wind, you'd keep them coming, that the fish would move down, they followed the wind down. I talk that one on. Feels like an F1. Also, I know it's very windy out there. I'm trying to cast, if I can, within a metre of where it's landing all the time. Sometimes it pays not to land on the same spot every time. Just go to the right a bit or just to the left. I'm obviously try and keep it in a, a metre area, really. But with this wind, it's, it's very hard.
thought that was an F1, but I think it's a car. Lovely bike that was. Drop back and then right round. Obviously no need to strike because they just look themselves. Yeah, nice F1. Big F1. Best F1 I've caught, that is. I've got two big maggots on now. Tight. When I was going, I went tight before nothing. That was right tight and carp. And two big maggots. Oh, we've got a load of rain coming again, have we? Got the clutch on the Horizon 3000 set just right. I've got 016 bottom and a 16. I can. I just feel that's the right balance, especially with double maggot. And when that took it, as soon as it went in, I chucked that right tight into the bank. I might try that next time. I think dropping it just a bit short. Well, I can in the wind. Mirror. No ones you want, but you want one a chuck, not where I'm waiting. Let's chuck that tight again, see what happens. It's a 12 inch hook length I got on there. I just rather fish a Fish it a bit further away from the the feeds. They got a little bit of play rather than fish a short six inch up length. Right, let's see. Two big maggots again. I'll chuck it as tight as I can. We just caught that a little bit, but it's quite tight. There have been two great big maggots. Well, we've got an hour left. 
and I know they'd be catching better further down the lake. Just, just need it to keep them coming, but there's just not the head of fish there because they follow the wind. It's been a lot harder than I thought, but conditions have been horrendous. I thought I'd have had a few more on the pole sitting on the end here, a few more F1s, but they don't even want to play. A little common carp, that is. No. <sighs> you got a spare few maggots? Huh? You got a spare few maggots? Well, I've got a spare few. Yeah. No, mine are just blown in. No. Yeah. <laughs> I've got about a fifth of a point. Circles. Yeah, just a couple of handfuls in a minute, maybe. I'll get Ben come down. Huh? Get a couple of handfuls in there, Ben, please. 
Only a few handfuls of red, I just, I nearly out. Yeah, well, f***ing blew in. Yeah. Do you want some back, Simon? Oh, pot went in. <laughs> Unreal. Time of day. Time of day. I just had all my maggots blowing. We make Simon next door just give me some. Unbelievable. The whole lot blew in. We're getting the most bites now, but it's because it's the last sort of half hour of the match, it's when the fish do feed, but there's not a big head of fish out there. I think he's moaning now, I've took all his maggots. <laughs> Come on, fish, where are you? Yeah, 10, 15 minutes. Oh. Ever since I put his maggots on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end. That last 45 minutes I had one fish, but it was very hard all match really to be fair. And when I snagged up and I moved, which is probably an hour and a half in, it was a totally different peg then when I come along the bank, about another three metres. But um, still it's been horrendous the weather, so let's weigh in and see how I do. Oh beautiful fish, aren't they? Fifty p. Can you? Yeah. Just a horrible day. Eighteen dead. Well, in there. Twenty-six. Twelve. There's two. Bloody hell. Five pound of a section win, that's all right. So there we are, I've weighed in 60 pounds and a few ounces, which has been second in the section and probably third, fifth in the match. Um, my section one was 65 pounds, so I lost a couple of carp in the snag, one of them I could have won the section with. Um, the weather's been absolutely horrendous, as you've seen. Um, when the first lot of rain came, I'd never been so cold. It just changed. The sun went in and it just changed. It was horrible. Um, but I think I always enjoy it. The thing is, it's the smallest changes that's so important. Um, I come away from this snag. I went about three metres to the right, um, sorry, three metres to the left of it. I was sitting there looking out and caught a fish straight away. So there was fish there, although there was fish by the snag as well, but it, it, it was so much, well, it was easier. I didn't lose anything. I think I had one, one small one come off. Um, I've enjoyed it, but I'm as far away as fish as possible because for where the lad won the section with 65 pound, then the next lad was third with 75 pound, then there was a 80 pound, and then another 80 pound, which was top three. So the fish were like from three quarters of up, last one in my section, going to the next section. So it was calm here, we could film, um, so it would make good viewing, but if we'd been up there, cool, I don't know, I, I don't think we could have filmed. So I've done the best I can from a bad spot, but thoroughly enjoyed it and hope you have. <laughs>